Hello everybody and welcome back to the more fiend folio. We are jumping in for another run and da, 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 who do we want to play as? Let's go as deleted and we'll try and do a different run as deleted. Let's let's do a hero dickamy of whatever it's called one, the one where we can't heal and we have to take negative effects to gain hearts. That one's always quite the challenge and it's a lot of fun. Um and people just love fucking love the deleted. My god, you people out there. It's like crack for you people. <laughs> Everyone loves this guy so much. We got a Tower of Babel. Uh, destroys all obstacles in the current room. Applies confusion. Um, blows doors and secret room entrances. Fucking amazing item. Um, ability to get into secret rooms. Confusing all the enemies. All that good stuff. But yeah. Um, this guy starts with low health, of course, as you can see. Um, we have to cr make, make things into uh, their corrupted form in order to... Um, gain health essentially it's it, he's definitely a very very tricky character um he's, he's got some he's got some stank about him but he's a lot of fun and obviously with it being deleted you can create some really wacky stuff with this guy um but we do want to take some normal item effects every now and again like i think i want to wasn't actually the best usage there i was gonna say i think i want to do that to try and open a secret room so i thought it could be to the left or right of us but i was wrong on both accounts anyhow anyhow for the question of the day today for the question of the day today um, when you're watching this, I think Christmas should have passed. I don't know. I'm backlogging. Um, we are fast, fast approaching 10k. It should have actually hit by now. Um, probably, I don't know how much it also passed it by. I don't know. I'm, I'm just predicting. We're at like 9.99. <laughs> Anyways. Um, <clears throat> it's real good shit. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Um, as those of you who um, have been watching the channel, watching these, this series for a while now. There will be a video coming post 10k after I get back from Christmas, because as you're watching this right now, I'll be at home with my family. I, say, I always say at home, it's not really home. It's my old home, but you still kind of call it home. It's weird, isn't it? Uh, where is the secret room then? Weird. It's not to the left. Um, Gotta be down, right? No? Hmm. I'm willing to use a few bombs here to, to, to suss this out. Weird secret room placement. We do get an item that I've not seen before, too. Triples the chance to turn a soul heart into a fettered heart. Fettered hearts can now be picked up even at full soul heart health. Fettered ghosts gain herming. I actually... Wait. Oh, you tricked me. You tricky fucker. Oh, that, that was actually pretty smart. So I don't know if... So basically what happened there... One second. I have to sneeze really bad. Basically what happened there is there is a, a blue key thing right here underneath this guy. And so it tricked me to thinking I had to pop that one. I actually had to pop that one. I'm not even going to worry about that. That's that's actually kind of smart. <laughs> yeah, right there. Look. <laughs> Good on you. That is... That that was that was that was smart. You got me there. You got me. Anyways, we'll leave that. I was gonna say maybe that item would work for us. I know that we can't pick up health, but maybe if we get a soul heart drop and we touch it, we still get the fettered heart, which is the one that gives you the little ghosts. Um, we can buy a soul heart here. Actually, can we buy a soul heart? I don't even know if we can. Twenty percent chance for tears to produce a bee familiar. Ooh, that would be pretty useful. I would rather like that. Um, anyways, let's go do our boss. Unfortunately, we got a boss that we do not like. But yeah, so all exciting stuff. The, the 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 10k video will be coming late, as I mentioned. It's just unfortunately 10k is definitely gonna hit while I'm home. Um, so it just is. I'm going home on like the 21st, 22nd, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, it is what it is. Anyways, for the question of the day, for the question of the day, I just went to a hotel uh, to do some work, and it was very posh. So what's the uh, what's the best hotel you've stayed in? If you haven't, what's a place you'd like to go? What's a, a, um, a place you'd like to stay? It'd be interesting to know what caliber a place is. But this place was mega posh. I, I, was, I was there for work, so, and at a pay, which was amazing considering the quality of the place. But also, holy damn, the food there. I know I talk about food a lot, but god damn the food there was good. So, previously I'd been there a few times and I'd, I had eaten there, but I'd only had a, ever had like lunch there. So I'd had a club sandwich there a few times and they were really, really good. Uh, but this time we got to stay for like a three course meal for, for like um, starter, main and dessert for tea. And oh my goodness, was it good. 
Right. Um, spawn 21 hearts, on hit, spawn 4 pills, upon... Sp yeah, floor spawn 9 cards, spawn 5 flies with poops every 13 minutes spawn. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. Ooh, okay. Might as well... I know it's going to take us a little while here, but... We might as well gather as many friends as we can. Oh, bugger. I mean, I did get the pills for being hit. I can see forever. It's actually pretty useful. I'm going to just destroy that one because it's going to annoy me. Speed down. It's good to know what our pills do, though. Range down. Not the greatest, especially a full one range down. Wow. Rude. Just more spiders and flies, I guess. Okay. Away we go. Away we go. That is that is going to kick the next floor off to a good start. And we're going to get nine cards on going down to the next floor, too. It's good stuff. We get Wheel of Fortune, Magician, Charm Beast, The Sun. I'm just going to pop The Sun right now. Stars is pretty good, too. Three random hearts. Strange. I'm not sure what happened to our hearts there. Spawn 1 to 10 keys. Good stuff. We got the Azure spin down. But I think I'm going to leave that for now. High Priestess, no thank you. Let's just use the stars to start out here. Um, every 60 seconds, spawn 5 bombs. Get whatever that is. Um, on bomb, get a temporary Holy Penny. Use card against humanity. And then spawn 5 red poops. I'm going to give it another negative. Oh, I can't give it any more than one negative effect. Okay, I'm still going to take that, though. We spot, we, we shoot tax now, which is cool. Oh, because we got that item a bunch of times, I see. I mean, I might as well fill out this room here and see what happens. See if I get anything good. I mean, I've got so many spiders and stuff that these flies aren't really a problem. But fortunately, no uh, petrified poop as of yet. I was kind of hoping for it because I have the Azure spin down thing so I could spin it down to something else once I was done with it, but didn't get so lucky. Yeah, I don't actually know what this this uh, tax shooting item really does, I'll be honest. I'm going to take all the pills I can get because I really do need to know what all the pills do. This seems pretty good though so far. Um, Yeah, I really do need to know what all the pills do because um, I can make good use out of them when we get hit, which I'm hoping won't be too often, but we'll see. Nah, we don't want that. We, we, we can spin that one down, though. See, see what we end up getting. Oh, hello. Okay, so we've got to be careful that troll bombs can spawn, but... Oh, and we get the holy penny. So that's kind of a good, like, synergy. They work together pretty well. Enigma Heart. Enigma Heart works. I don't know if it'll actually trigger, but... It did work. Alright, let's go find that secret room real quick. I said fine. Just enter more like... And remember that we can just do this to get in there for free. And confuse a few enemies as well. It's rather nice. Yeah, the Tower of Babel's really, really good. I don't know why it's quality one. Estrogen up didn't do anything for us, unfortunately. Lucky Penny is very nice. Chest and a chest. So many pills to identify here. Oh, I mean... We've, we've basically only had bad pills so far, but that's not a bad thing. We're getting through the bad pills, and we'll, we'll, we'll come out the other side. Um, hopefully looking pretty decent. What we got here? Abandoned box spawns a random familiar from the current room's item pool. Okay, let's... Um, I'm going to try something here that's a little bit risky. I don't know, actually. I'm sure I'll do it in here, see what happens. Mystery sack, eh, not great, but I'll take it. <laughs> I was going to try something, but then I was like, nah. I was going to maybe go to the devil deal, but I don't want to be locked into devil deals, actually. I think that would be a bad idea for me. Right, let's go and spin down that trinket. I'm going to leave all these cards here. I, I, I know it's a little bit of a waste, but oh well. Maybe should have got the slot machine and blown it up at least. But yeah, let's do that. Ooh, very, very good. Yes, I will 100% take that. 100%. Oh, I'm noticing that fire rate down already. Boo. That wasn't second secret. Did I just miss? No, I didn't miss. 
It, actually, it could be here as well. And it could also be... Let's just check backside of this room here. Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't it say every 13 minutes? Maybe it said every 1 minute 30. Balls, where the hell is it? At this point, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Right, in we go. And we do have bombs to make this a lot easier. Binky is something I think I should just take. I know it doesn't give me the soul heart, but the fire rate increase is huge. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then we go down. Yeah, this is this is going decently so far. Yeah, this character is such a such a fun one. Uh we get the Emperor. We did get a hero font card, which doesn't do anything for us, but hey-ho. If it's six hearts worth of pickups, that, that wasn't six hearts worth at all. Stars card again, Hermit card again. Just blasting everything away. Emperor's still there. Inflicts all enemies with freezing. Adjustment's pretty good. E, lots of money. I think we just pop the stars here. Oh, there's our bombs. We're going to be getting a lot of bombs here, I think. That's pretty good, but I think I'm going to try bit flip it. <laughs> um, Every nine rooms, get that. Every 50 seconds, use that. Every nine seconds. Um, first hit each room, 40% chance of spawn forgotten. I'll just take that. That seems intriguing. One second. Goddamn sneezes. I keep having to pause to sneeze. That might happen a few more times, I apologise. We've got this little snake item here. The Ouroboros snake. That will do some good stuff. I don't know what this thing, this uh, trinket that we've just smelted to us is. If you have a look at the top right there. We've got like a little blue mouth thing. I, I honestly have no idea what that does. That could potentially be good. I'll stray away from that though. I don't actually know. I just want to say, I don't actually know what that guy does if he gets the holy thing. Oh, bugger. I think I've lost my tack item. I don't know if I've lost it forever or just just for a bit. But it was doing us. Oh, dude, he got loose. He got loose. Dude, this thing's so strong. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is not going well anymore. Puberty. Health up doesn't do anything for us. Puberty. We do have a golden pill there. Oh, my God. So many bad pills. So many bad pills. He's not being good on the pill department. I did not get my tack item back either, which is just terrible for us. Just awful. I've got potato peeler there, which I guess I could bit flip. On hit spawn, two eternal chests every 10 seconds, 6% chance to get that until next floor. Yeah, that seems fantastic for us. And it heals us a little bit as well, which is good. Arrow pill. I'm just trying to use this to... Oh, bugger. I need to get out of this room right now. Okay. Just keep using the golden pill. Lemon juice? I can never remember what lemon juice does. It does something. Oh, fuck that guy at Herming. Okay, we got a one that makes you smaller already, so that just flips that over. We're definitely not doing good on tears and, um, thingy. We're definitely not doing good on tears and, um... Damage. Oh, what the hell? All right. Um, every 10 seconds, 15% chance to get that until next floor. Use this book a bunch of times. On key, use that mushroom. Each room, 23% chance to lose a little bit of damage. Yes. That gives us a good bit of health, so I'll go for it. It's a little bit scary, though, I'll be honest. We're not doing great with our pills so far. Bad trip? No way. Come on, now. Okay. I was really hoping we wouldn't get bad trip. This is so bad for us. Ah, 
I'm, I'm really having a hard time seeing what the hell's going on right now. Emperor, I guess. Why not? I think we just need to be using bombs a lot more. I think lemon juice just made our tears really tiny. Oh, fuck's sake. I might die here. We spawned a begotten as well. Lovely. Okay. Unfortunate death. Oh, wait. I came back and then died again. Okay. We'll give it another go. That wasn't a great attempt. This character just is what it is, isn't it? He sometimes gets dealt a bad hand. Oh, hello. Tears up, damage up. I'm just going to take that as it is. I realize I do need health, but honestly, tears up and damage up sounds super important right now. Um, that kind of was one of the things that was screwing us over last time, so I'm going to take it. Also, this is a room where I die. Yep. Great. That room, just, I couldn't kill those, um, those little spiders in one hit, which just doomed me. Not being able to kill those in one hit was just instant death, essentially. That's a really, really hard room for the first floor. I realize you got a, a lot of room to move around, and I probably could have moved a little bit better. But that is still a, a very, very difficult room. Honestly, it just, this honeycomb floor as well, I, th I think it's way too, way too difficult for where it shows up in the game. But, hey her. Right. Okay, these things are going to be annoying. We don't have our damage up anymore. It's a little annoying to lose that damage up and tears up so fast. Dude, as if that hit me. I really can't be getting hit when I'm only on, yeah, one heart. Very difficult early, early game rooms. I'm not doing cellar. Go away, cellar. I want to do basement. Not XL. Regular basement. Not cellar. Not cellar. Not cellar. There you go. Basement. Good shit. Of course we get this room, which I'm notoriously very bad at. But, I made it through. Okay. False starts aside. Let's give this another real go. Um... I'm going to take that. The three proptosises, I know it's only until hit, so they're not going to last forever. In fact, they might not even last this floor, but it has potential. Nah, I'm fine, thank you. For fuck's sake! Game, just give me a chance, please. What's with these really hard rooms and enemies that I can't fuck up, fucking dodge for some reason? I'm such a stupid fool. I know, I knew that those flies were going to do that. And for some reason, I still sidestepped it. Even though sidestepping is the exact thing you're not meant to do. Oh god, this room seems fucking horrible as well. Oh my god, this is, yeah, this is a horrible room. Fucking die. Good. Well, lost Proptosis after literally not even being able to use it for a single room. So that's fun. This guy needs to start with better stats, my dude. At least my mini dudes are doing a good job. They don't do a lot of damage. They do help. They do help indeed. My mini Isaac just took a full shot to the face there. And again, thank you. Um, Bonner conjoined fatty. Oh god, that's going to be annoying, but it is what it is. Right, down we go. Ugh. This has been a slog.
46 kills, spawn 3 mega batteries, use flush, each devil room, spawn 29 hush laser up. What the hell's hush laser up? Mm hmm, take it I guess. I don't know what it is, but I'll take it. Why the hell not? Oh, okay, we get that at the start of every room. Um, I didn't realize we'd get to aim where we throw it, so we can walk into a room, angle it and throw it. That's actually pretty useful. Might be able to get a good amount out of this. Because not only is the slowing very valuable, but the spiders we can potentially get out of this, also very, very good. Yeah, look at that. A lot of spiders. That was a very bad throw on that. There's no reason to throw it there. God, rooms like this. Whoever designs rooms and puts pooters in a room with a lot of rocks, you must really hate people, because you know they're just going to sit on top of the rocks forever. God damn, pooter, go away. Stop hiding on top of the rocks. Okay. Ah, oh, bugger, I forgot about that this time. Yeah, that is going to be super, super valuable. I have to remember about that. Siren's Call, whatever it's called. Siren's Note, pretty decent. Might be worth a bomb if we get an extra one this floor. Not that we have a familiar right now, but I'm sure we'll get some in the future. As long as we get one webbing per room, I'm pretty happy. And we got two there. We don't get a lot of spiders from it, but it's 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 enough. There you go, and we get a few for the boss as well. Doesn't trigger on the boss fight, which is fine because it doesn't do anything to bosses. We did get two bombs here as well, so we can go back and get the sirens, no, whatever it's called. My goodness. Tricky room. Tricky boss. I just find it difficult when he spawns a bunch of stuff. He's not generally that hard. But he just... Oh, for God's sake. Sometimes he just spawns. Like this. Stop spawning things. Stop having things throw bombs at me and crap. Oh my God, now you've got flies in the mix too. Fuck off. Dude, with this attack, stop. Stop with this attack, please. Stop spawning, shitheads! Oh my god, how are you not dead? Look at your health bar, you fucker! Fuck the stupid fucking Fiendfolio bosses. Oh my god. I do love Fiendfolio, but I... After, after like a good amount of time with it, I do have to say, I think the bosses are my least favorite aspect. Like, there's, there's, there's a few of them that are awesome. There's a few of them that are really cool. But especially the early game bosses, they're just ridiculous. They just do way too much. Like, it's not particularly that they're too hard. And they, they kind of are. They definitely are too hard. But it's not really that. It's just that the, all of the first floor bosses in the base game are basic. They do very little. They have a few attacks. That's kind of it. But in, in this, it's like, nah, 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 nah. Let's give them 18 attacks. And let's make them ridiculous. And let's have them spawn 15 ads. And it's just like, oh my god, just calm down. Save those bosses for later floors. Why does everything early game have to be so crazy? It's just too much, my dudes. It's just too much. <laughs> Especially if you get a champion one as well. Like, some of the champion early floor bosses are even crazier. Oh god, I think I'm going to get hit here, aren't I? This is not a good room for me. Oh, dude, you can't just keep spawning more of these guys. That's just unfair. Stop spawning more. I can't fucking... I don't have the time to... Oh my god. I barely have the time to kill the, the main dudes because he's spawning so many. Fuck off. Goddamn room's taking forever. 8% chance. Honestly, right now, I'm just taking these items because they're good. Let's build up a good run first and then go for health afterwards. I know one heart really isn't enough. But Bird's Eye is very, very good. 
And so is uh, the, the small plank, whatever it's called. <laughs> I'm very much happy to have that. Okay, good. Taking things out, it's not too bad. This is going to be one of the reform guys, I think. It's an interesting concept when you drop bombs. Okay. Ooh, Soul of Lilith. Wow. Almost died there. Bedbug? Really not that good. I suppose Soul of Lilith gets a little worse with their uh, mods because there's so many more things that it can be. And familiars tend to be lower quality. Okay, this is an XL flaw. I did not realize that. Every kill, 90% chance to get all this. Spawn Uriel. Every kill, 11% chance to spawn three random troll bombs. And bit flip, 95% chance to lose one key. Oh, dude, I can't escape the room. I thought I could just fucking leave. Whoops. Yeah, I thought I could just fucking leave. Dude, 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 dude. This is death. Especially when you just fly out the way of my bombs. Yep. This has been terrible. This episode has been tragic as fuck. I don't want to play on the fucking cellar. It's too hard. Just restart me if I get hit like that. I'm just having a really hard time. This guy just, I feel like his stats are just dog shit. I know that they're not any worse than like the regular characters, but goddamn, I'm having such a hard time with him. And I'm not getting like any like crazy deleted items either. Like, all of my deleted items have been average, or they're like, get get this until hit. No. I don't want this until hit. Just give me it. Just let me have it. <laughs> Why you gotta be such a bitch about it? <laughs> Why you gotta play the, these games with me? Fuck's sake. I don't know if that creep hurts me. I think it does. I know that the red one does, but I'm not sure about the blue one. Come on, dudes. Just die. <laughs> I'm getting sick of all these games. Ah, oh, fuck. This, this room. With the rework of these guys, this room does not work as well. This room's scary as fuck. Right, gives the item room straight away. Come on. I'm really focusing right now because I'm playing so badly. I've got to get better for when we start the new save file. Like, I've really got to get a lot better. <laughs> I have... A reputation to uphold. I don't know what that reputation is, but I have one. Oh, we got a giant jar. We got a giant jar. It's been so long. I don't know if we have the bombs to blow it up. There is a TNT next to it, which is nice. Generating a bunch of spiders for us. I don't know if a TNT will count as one explosion or more. I've been guessing just the one. There's one. Here's two. And I think it needs maybe one more bomb, maybe two more bombs. I can't remember. Oh my god. These fucking massive rooms are taking forever. Luckily we got a lot of spiders from that room. But yeah, these big rooms are just taking forever. It's a big old pain in the ass. Good. Good. Oh, God, and of course we've gone through, like, so much of this floor and not found a single item room yet. It's just typical, isn't it? Okay, a few more spiders left. Excuse me, sirs. Don't spawn after the fact. Rude. Oh, my God. Where's our item rooms at, please? Oh, my. How, how have I not found one yet? I realize Excel floors are big, but god damn. 
but you're not a problem, Mr. Squirt. Lock you in there while you're not charging. Doesn't matter. You're a huge problem. I didn't think he'd charge so soon. Wasn't paying attention. We got another bomb. Oh, God. Half a heart again. This... I, I've never had such problems with this character. This time, I, I literally cannot... I'm unable to do well as him. Really? There's still one more? Fuck's sake. Right, we can go to our shop now, though, and potentially buy an item that we bit flip. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Um... Damn it, it didn't drop a bunch of trinkets. I was really hoping it would. And then that other one we literally can't take. It would be terrible. So I guess we take it as the smelter. And we actually use it. Right, we've managed to regain that half a heart. Not particularly good, but it's something. We also gained an item that increases our chance to find black hearts, which is useless. Holy shit, it's an item room. What the hell's that? Also, these worms are way too hard for the first floor as well. I feel like I'm just complaining right now, but I'm salty, alright? I'm doing terribly. I'm doing terribly. Um... Delete that. Give that a go, why not? Don't exactly know what the uh, horn thing that it recommended there was, but we'll see. We need to find another bomb as well to get our last crack on the uh, big old pot. You see? Ask and you shall receive. This has been a long first floor, my guys. This has been very long. This has just been a real struggle bus from start to finish. It's kind of incredible. And we get blood. <laughs> Two keys. On active use, summon four enemy ghost. I guess. Okay. I didn't do anything. I was just checking because it said enemy ghost. But it wasn't a negative. So I was like, uh, how? How does that work? But apparently it just doesn't. It just doesn't spawn anything. It just spawns a few red puffs of smoke. Number one, or each boss kill spawn five bombs, on bomb get temporary whatever, on coin get this head. Remove it now. Yeah, we'll take that. Need that health. For oh, fuck, go away. I've already spoke my hatred of you. Fuck off. Ha! Oh, my goodness. So very annoyed by this boss. Could you just chill out for five seconds and not be an asshole? Don't spawn. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking stop throwing my bombs back at me, you dickhead. Oh my god. Remove. Go for that, why not? We have a gun. Why do we have a gun? I, I literally can't even hit this guy. Why do we have a gun? I can't even hit this guy. Where did this gun come from? My shot speed is literally too high to hit anything. This gun is useless to me. What is this cruel joke? Oh my goodness, what the fuck is this? 
I literally can't hit this guy. What is going on? I do like three damage a shot to him as well. This is bullshit. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Where'd that gun come from? Okay. Anyhow, I hope you guys did enjoy. This was bizarre. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.